Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now, we're in the state of New Jersey. We're currently in the city of Patterson. We're gonna be doing a walking tour of downtown Patterson, New Jersey. It's about 76 degrees right now. The sun is shining bright. It's nice weather. We got pretty clear skies. A few scattered clouds, but nothing major. Right now, we are walking towards Albert Lembo Way. We're in like the business district of the downtown area. If you guys haven't got a chance to check out the driving tour that I did in downtown Patterson, check that out. I was able to cover more square miles than I am during this walk today. <clears throat> We're approaching Sianci Street which is also known as Albert Lembo Way and Peru Square at Market Street. <clears throat> so we went across on this green light. We got businesses up and down the blocks, the cross blocks at businesses. There's a lot of traffic out. We're gonna be passing a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of electronic stores, beauty salons, money transfers, tax businesses, and so on. Passing Ruiz Travel Agency on our right. So as we continue to walk forward, you're going to see a large population of Hispanic people from all walks of Hispanic life. There's a huge Peruvian demographic in this community, as well as Arabic. Many of the businesses also are Peruvian. There's a lot of Peruvian restaurants. That was one of the names that I kept noticing. Matter of fact, we're passing Somos to Peru on our right, which is a Peruvian restaurant. A bunch of people was eating. We're approaching Prospect Street. We're on Market. Market and Prospect. Now, remember, Market's also known as Peru Square Market Street. Passing Kiss Nail Salon, Melba's Beauty Salon on our left. Looks like we have a memorial right here. Rest in peace, memorial. Oh wow, rest in peace to our favorite Chinese delivery man. That's messed up, guys. It looks like the delivery driver, either if he was a bicycle driver or if he actually rode a car to deliver the food, but I don't know what happened. I don't know what's his story, if he was gunned down or if he died of natural causes, but they lost their delivery driver. And I guess the neighborhood, you know, the neighborhood wanted to pay their respects so what they did was they put a bunch of candles out there for them all right let's uh bang this right here we're gonna bang it right we're gonna go up after we go up we'll cross the street and then come around the opposite side just so that you guys can see some of the businesses so we got some music playing on my right hand side sounds like some techno type of house music house pop got a bunch of businesses across the street casa bonita discount we got a sneaker store a little sneaker business man that john looked at exclusive that john looked exclusive <laughs> Downtown discount store, Bebo's jewelry, nail salon, action zone. School uniforms. We have a Marshalls across the street at Center City Mall. And there's also a Burlington. I wonder if they dropped the Coat Factory name because I could have swore it was called Burlington Coat Factory.
Price Right. It's a business called Price Right. Looks like we got a furniture business over here. A lot of jewelry stores. So around the corner from us, there is the county complex, which has like the courthouse, federal buildings, administration building and all of that. Matter of fact, you can see some of the important buildings from over there. See that thing that looks like a church? NJ Transit. I think I'll take it up one more block. I think I'll be fair. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all this sign because I try to show y'all this sign on, on the first segment when we had did the driving version, but you guys wasn't able to actually see it. So I'm gonna show you this sign right now. That's the welcome to the city of Patterson sign. So we're gonna continue walking up Main Street. We have the first Presbyterian church right there in front of us. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up probably another block because these stores span several blocks. Um, and all the side blocks, there's some type of activity. So we may not be able to get through it all walking wise today, but like I said, I try to cover as much as I can driving. So I'm gonna try to show you an up close view today, walking. Several other businesses, La Mensajera, Taqueria, Los Gueros. They have a bunch of restaurants, hookah and vape lounge. I see uh, smoke accessories like CBD, Kratom, and all of that stuff. Rosie's Palace S and S Party Center. We have the police right there. You seen the police truck drove by in the SUV. Dynamics Airbrush Art Streetwear Main Pizzeria. This block right here. It's not much activity. We're at Oliver Main Corner Restaurant. They make all types of food, Spanish and American food specialists. So down this block, there's a lot of those government buildings. I'm not gonna focus too much on the government buildings. As you can see, as we come down here, the ambience kind of dwindles off a bit. There's not as many walkers. Once we got on Main Street back there, there was like tons of people walking. Once we started coming on this end, there's not as many people. So I think right when we get to this block called Degrassi, we're gonna make a left. We got the Passaic County Sheriff's Office on our right. Mattress, furniture business, Judy's Boutique. I was gonna make a left here, but I feel like I should just at least take it to the corner. <laughs> I feel like I should take it to the corner. We'll take it to the corner and then I'll make this left on Grand. If I go any further, then it's definitely gonna take me out of my perimeter. We have a barbershop on my right hand side. This is that church we saw in the driving tour. You guys didn't get a chance to look up it. But now I'm trying to give you a little better perspective. Beautiful church. All right, we're officially gonna make this left-hand turn right here on Grand Street. Look at this, is their NJ Transit bus. All right, let's make this left on Grand Street. They got a green light, so we're gonna wait for them. Meanwhile, you guys can look up this block. The Cathedral Restaurant, Sabol a Mexico. 
All right, we're gonna make this left right here. Now, if you go forward at the end of this block, there's the administration building. It's an all black building. We discussed that briefly in the driving tour of downtown, but we're not gonna go down there. I wanna focus on this main street, this main street right here. It's popping, it has a lot of energy, a lot of people out. So this is St. John's Cathedral. Nice church. Those are the businesses that we passed earlier. Barbershop. Oh snap, I didn't even notice. We went by the county jail. Yo! The county jail located in downtown. Look at, they got barbed wire up there. Who's gonna jump off? I guess somebody might throw a couple bed sheets, right? Yo! I ain't even peep game. I didn't see that the first time when I drove by here. And I drove by here like three times. I did not actually comprehend what that building was. I probably even said county jail on my left hand side, but I didn't even comprehend what I was actually looking at. That's crazy in the downtown area. That's how it is in, I think Camden, around Camden. They have one too, minus as much barbed wire. That was a whole lot of barbed wire. Yo, look at it. That's the, that's the jail. That's crazy, right? So like, these businesses are located right across the street from the prison. <laughs> That's crazy. Most of the time, in a lot of big cities, they put the prisons away from downtown, you know, away from civilization. They usually put them in like industrial areas. But I guess that rule doesn't apply here in Patterson. We got main pizzeria right here, lasagna, cheesesteak, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, wraps, hot and cold subs, and more. Tattoo supply shop. That's cool. Bloody good. That was that uh vapor shop hookah, vapor, and all that stuff. All right, so we're approaching another sign that says Passaic County, and that you know that the courthouse, the federal building, the public and juror parking is to our right-hand side. So if you went down this block on our right, then you'll hit all those features of the downtown area. It seems like this part of the city is more reserved for court and government services. And as you get further forward, where we're traveling, there's more uh, commercial, like a business district. Like right now, I would consider this the business district. As I was mentioning in part one of the driving tour of downtown Patterson, this seems like a low rise downtown. It's not too tall. not really extremely tall buildings. There's a lot of businesses, I'll tell you that much. There's a bunch of businesses. and something called the Banana King. Banana King. Delivered with Grubhub. Looks like they got smoothies and all of that stuff on our right hand side. Pineapple, lemonade, strawberry, and all of that. Some more businesses. Those are the businesses we walked by earlier. Got a sneaker store. Another shoe store on our right. Looks like more affordable, low budget shoes.
more jewelry, more bling bling, <laughs> more bling bling for all you bling bling lovers. I've never been like a huge fan of, um, in my younger years, I ain't gonna lie, I used to wear chains and stuff. But in my older years, I don't really wear a lot of it. The most that I probably do is like a wristwatch and then my, my wrist usually feels naked without a wristwatch. And um, like some earrings. And I went for a long period of time with just not wearing earrings for a couple years. And then I, you know, my holes were still there. So I just, you know, a couple years ago, I started rocking them again, but yeah, I don't really wear like huge chains or none of that. All right, so we're at market. We got businesses on my right. All sorts of businesses. Check out that building over there. Looks like some sort of historic building. We'll probably take a peek at that later. That's that corner that we came from over there. We came from that corner. We got to do it right here. Selling what looks to be like water ice. He's out there grinding. We got easy pickings on my right hand side. Game stop. People coming out the shoe store, easy pickings, female clothing. Foot locker. This is some of the other businesses that we didn't get a chance to see earlier. Music. They got the music bumping. They got the music bumping, y'all. You can even hear music across the street, too. Rainbow clearance sale. Man, there's a lot of traffic here. You hear everybody beeping the horn? Tons and tons of traffic. A lot of traffic, a lot of traffic at this intersection. We're at College Boulevard, Main Street and College Boulevard. Look at all this traffic. People blocking the roads. I think we're gonna go forward probably like another block. We'll make a left across the street, come back the opposite way since y'all didn't see that side. And then midway through, we'll probably go towards the, uh, that city hall looking building, that building that looked like city hall with like the clock tower thing up top. I don't know what it was, but we'll walk back towards it and figure it out. Oh, they're playing music over here too. Damn, they drawing with that instrumental. The instrumental is loud enough that if eight seconds comes into the sound bite, then I'm gonna get flagged. So please forgive me for screaming over the music. <laughs> yeah, you can still hear it from down here, I'm sure. You can hear it clearly. Oh, we got more music over here on my right. I smell somebody's pizza. Oh, Broadway pizza on my right. That y'all kind of smell banging. Wow, Broadway pizza. That junk kind of smelled good. <laughs> I ain't gonna fraud. That music smelled good. That music was popping. Oh, we got somebody on a little pit bike. 
little pit bike. Pit bike. Alright, so I'm probably gonna walk over here, walk for like a half a block, make a left, cross the street, walk back, and then walk the opposite way. So down there, it's like some of them city buildings. You see that building with the clock up top? That's what we're gonna see, but let's walk around the opposite way. Let's cross the street here, walk around the opposite way, just so y'all can see the other half, and then we'll make that turn to go to that little block to see what that building is about. Cause I passed it when I was driving it, but to be all honest, I didn't really know what it was. I didn't know if it was another courthouse, if it was a church, or if it was like city hall or something, you know what I mean? Got a coffee shop on my right hand side. Eat in happy restaurant. Chinese food on my right hand side. They got a little nail salon going on. Hot spot wireless electronics. Looks like they got speakers. They got PRVs, voice speakers, eight on vocal speakers, and they got the uh, the horns and all of that. Have your system bumping, have it sounding clear. Not just bassy. But sounding crystal clear so this is that block that we just came from with all the traffic that's what it looks like from afar we're on main street we're approaching broadway we got a fish and chicken and pizza spot so we're gonna cross here i'm gonna do some like whole custom jaywalk in here there's a lot of traffic so i'm gonna take advantage of the traffic and i'm gonna just walk up this way so this is the opposite side that we didn't get a chance to walk through yet but i want y'all to really see both sides This side got a lot of shade too, so I'm gonna try to stay close to the shade side. And we gotta be careful too because of music. And then you even got car systems. I hear somebody drive out with a car system with some reggaeton. Metro store, some type of phone store. Another store with music. And they got like Playstations and all that stuff. All right, we're approaching Jalalabad Street. J-A-L-A-L-A-B-A-D. Next to the bus stop. The thing I like about this is that it's more shady. It's not as sunny as on the other side. The other side was super, super sunny. Yeah, this side got the shade. This is my type of side to walk on. Woo! Got a little lunch truck right here. A little a la food cart. So it was said based on Wiki that this city, the city of Patterson, New Jersey has the second largest Arabic population in the country. The second largest in the country, guys. Now that's big. That's major considering that that this is a small city, you know what I mean? So that's incredible. And an older woman, she's making her grind, selling uh, water ice. There you go, there you go, yeah, she, she out there getting paid. She out there hustling, you're never too old to hustle. 
All right, so we're at Maine and what's this, Ellison? I'm gonna go to the next block and see if I can get a view of that clock tower looking thing. I smell all types of food though. All types of fragrances. Something really sweet, something like a buffalo barbecue is kicking my nose. It smells good though. It's like a buffalo. Like whatever sauce they're using. All right, so this ain't that block because I don't see the clock tower thing. I think it's on the next block. Oh uh, no, we was on market. Yeah, we was on market. I think it is this block. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cross here just cause I, I don't wanna walk through this if we already walked through it. I think we did both sides for the most part. So I'm gonna just cross here. And then hopefully we'll be able to find what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? I saw it from afar. Looks like a little pizzeria. Sylvia's looks like uh, cosmetics, oh, lingerie, all types of um, smell good perfumes, too. Damn, I walk faster than I could drive because I think I covered the main street. Dang, in that case, we might as well walk towards downtown, like the government buildings. I'm, oh, right here, this is it. This is the one that I was looking for. So what is this exactly? I don't know. I'm gonna find out shortly though. I think I'm gonna like cross the street. I'm gonna see if I can read any type of signage. See if they got anything that says something. Good, bro. So we're approaching Washington. We got the city of Patterson Division of Recreation building over there. See what this is this looks like a public space that i can walk on i'm gonna walk and see what this thing looks like they got some cool statues out here yeah this is city hall boom let me show you guys what the top looks like city hall patterson So you guys are seeing City Hall or Patterson NJ. We got some businesses over here that I don't think we really took a look at. So we might as well just walk over here. We're on Colt and Market. Colt and Market. So Patterson also has a nickname Silk City for its uh, silk market. There's a bunch of businesses across the street, Taco Bell, Home Tech, McDonald's, uh, Game Mania, Metro, Grizzly Smoke Shop and Convenience. Now, one thing that I'm surprised that I ain't really get a chance to see a lot of yet, considering that marijuana is recreational here, you need to be 21 or older in the state of New Jersey. I didn't really see a lot of that here in Patterson. Like I would have expected to see like a dispensary or something, you know what I mean? I see plenty of smoke shops, hookah lounges and stuff, but that's a completely different stuff. Church Street, Gerald Shepherson Sr. Lane. PNC Bank, United Savings and Loan of Patterson.
Yeah, the sun beaming right now. The sun's starting to beam. And then when you walk in, you start to perspire and sweat. I need one of those caps. <laughs> remember those caps? You remember, remember? <laughs> remember the caps that had the little fan on it from back in the 90s? <laughs> I ain't gonna wear that. My head ain't gonna fit it. <laughs> but that coming classic. Like, like, like what I need is I need like a handheld fan. Saw that bike? We had one like fluorescent pink rim and one fluorescent yellow rim. That was cool. They had a Planet Fitness right there connected to that building. Planet Fitness. I see the Patterson police over there. Patterson police. How I almost trip over a plastic cup. <laughs> oh, this is the college, yo. Center for Student Success. Passaic Community College. I straight up almost tripped over a plastic cup. <laughs> Luckily it was plastic and it wasn't like a boulder or like a hole in the ground. Look, you got a Honda CRE with some Honda Accord rims. Those are the Honda Accord Sport rims. Another jewelry store. There's a lot of jewelry stores down here too. And they're all scattered out. furniture business right here and right, I'm probably gonna take it up to like maybe to like the like the train and then I'm gonna bust a I'm gonna bust a, a turn across the street I almost got hit by a car there too <laughs> that that yellow box truck Embarque Guachimes LLC I would have got Clip bottom, but it's cool because he weighed it. Passing the Baskin Robbins on my left, Baskin Robbins and Dunkin' Donuts. It looks like we're approaching Erie stop. It says Erie on it. I see a checkers too. The interesting thing that I learned about checkers across the country is that in some states, like in the West, Midwest, uh, the South, it's called Riley's. In the East and Northeast, it's actually called checkers, but it's the same facade, the same design, the same thing. All right, so I think we'll take it to the corner checkers, make a right and then come right back up so we can stay within the perimeter of downtown. You have Memorial Day School, Georgette Hosser campus. There goes the checkers. If you never tried checkers, try it one of my favorites that i used to eat from there was the french fries they have their very own uh signature french fries which they were awesome by themselves i used to eat them by themselves and then i used to have their strawberry milkshakes all right so we're gonna cross here we're on straight street on straight the intersection of straight and dominican republic way so right now we're facing Dominican Republic Way. And we're gonna be crossing Dominican Republic Way. That's where we just came from. We just walked all of that. So we're gonna walk forward towards Roberto Clemente Way. We're on Straight Street, which is also known as Reverend Angel Silva Sr. Montesino Barbershop. 
Looks like there's a bunch of other businesses over there. I'm gonna make this right though. We're just gonna walk back the opposite way. Oh snap, he's painting the uh, the umbrellas. Painting them red. Yeah, I used to love this spot. I haven't ate from Checkers in a very, 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 very long time. Almost seven years. It's been a long time since I've eaten from Checkers. All right, so we're approaching market. I'm gonna go and make a left right here. It's gonna be like an angle. I'm low key gonna make like an angle. <laughs> I, uh, unless I go forward and just walk in that crosswalk. Oh, look at the little pit bike dude. The little pit bike dude. That's a little pit bike. It's not a real dirt bike, it's a pit bike. You can get one of those for like, for like a cheap one. I can get them as low as 389. Um, but they range anywhere from like 800, 1200. To like a name brand one, probably be like twenty five hundred, maybe three three grand. There's a market for those, believe it or not. They're little tiny bikes, but especially if you got a kid, that's perfect. Perfect beginner bike. So if you got like a like a seven year old, eight year old, somebody that is just getting into riding, you get them something small, and then they're also semi. They be semi automatic, so I don't think you got to deal with a clutch on that. You just switch gears, so it gives you the fun of switching gears, but without the headache of dealing with a clutch you could probably get more high-end uh pit bikes that have clutches but that right there that was automatic so that's what we just walked by we walked by all those businesses All right, we're gonna stop here. We got a red hand. It's so hot. I think I got one more car to wait behind and then I'm across. Oh, one more just came after that. Oh, they got red light. We, we good. We got somebody that looks to be like on a little grime. Let me see what this is. Oh, that's that's one of those Chung Bang, those Chinese um Chinese knockoff like a like a Gram, like a Honda Gram, but it's not a Honda Gram. Again, that's an automatic, and it's very low budget it's like a good starter bike like if you ain't got nothing to ride you spend 1200 on that and you'll be out you could probably get one of those brand new for 1200 a uh, brand new honda grom is like 5500 almost six grand yeah you could get a used honda grom for like 35 like almost 4200 so that's the difference when you buy the the i call them ching bang that's that's not what they're really called but the ching bang is like a is it's like an affordable um, no name knockoff but it gets a job done the only thing is is that the durability it doesn't last as long because it's cheaper components cheaper parts but is it fun yeah you can have fun you can get around can you get from point a to point b yeah you can get from point a to point b will you get from point a to point b for a really long time probably not <laughs> you got to maintain it well you got to like do all the oil changes and don't beat it and abuse it So we walked by all that stuff over there. That was the police officer we saw earlier. Thanks, buddy. He said, I like that. I was uncertain on what he said. I like that too, but I said, thanks, buddy. 
I don't know if he was talking about the camera device or there's really nothing else to say that had you like on me because <laughs> I ain't got nothing cool on me. So some of those government buildings over there. So we're getting back into the midst of all of the the uh the ambience all of the people i could have just made a left at this corner i should have made a left before we got here so y'all could have saw the back block but it's cool And we on the side with the shade. I'm about to take advantage and walk closer to the shade. Cause I'm glistening. It's like I took a bucket of a Popeye's chicken. Like I took some KFC, some extra greasy fried chicken. And you know how your fingers be all greasy? It's like I took my hands and I rubbed them all over my forehead and rubbed them all over my face for lotion. So it's like I got a greasy chicken face. I'm shining bright like a diamond. Ooh, 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 ooh. shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> I hear more music. See, doing hoods virtually is cool and all, but sometimes that's the one thing about the hood. The hood always plays music, never fails. And I've been listening to these songs, not personally, but unwillingly because they play them outside in the car or in front of a store. I've been listening to them since I was a, like a kid to like a teen, man. That's the city hall building. That's cool. So if you basically watch part one, the driving tour, you'll see that I drove by that building, except I didn't know exactly what it was. So now I know what it is. All right, we're on Veterans. I think I'm gonna make this left right here on Veterans. Good thing it didn't take us to market. Yo, even the old head, there's a dude behind me with like a little, one of those electric power chairs. And he's playing some like jazz music, some blues, some jazz music from back in the day. On his little uh, motorized, uh, what do you call those things? Those, those power chairs for the people who are like disabled or a senior. All right, so right now we're approaching what looks to be like Center City Mall. So I guess this will be considered Center City Patterson. And there goes the mall. T-Mobile, GNC. Uh, I walked right back into the sun though. Look, they got chain link fence right on top of this. This is crazy, right? I guess because they don't want you to go down there. They close it off. All right, so we're walking towards the Center City Mall, which I also see has a cinema. You see that? It says cinema, which means movie theaters. That's cool. Got a movie theaters in there downtown, so. It looks like there's a fair amount of things that you could spend your money on around here. From food to clothing, entertainment, all different things that you can do. Yes, bye boss. So we went across the street right by the cinema, just because I think another government building is over here. And I know I said I wasn't going to show you them, but hey, we got time. So today, I got time. <laughs> I got time. Yo, that, that kid that made that video died. See, sometimes I use a lot of references that some people don't know about. But, but there was a there was a, young, a youngster, a young Caucasian fellow, probably his teens. He went viral on a video when I think he was supposed to fight somebody. And any other day, he, he don't have time. But <laughs> in the video, he like he was really hyped and he was clapping his hands. He's like, today, I got time. My, he said the N-word. He said, my, you know what I mean? He said, I got time today. He said in some way. You could probably go on YouTube and put, 
I got time today viral video or something and you'll see it. it's like I don't know in one of the southern portions of the country probably I don't know Alabama Arkansas I don't know where this kid was from but anyway he um basically went viral for that video because I guess somebody went to fight him and all the other days he didn't want to fight because supposedly he didn't have time and then in that video he was mad hype he was really hype and he's like I got time today it was a really funny video but I didn't realize so a couple years ago they said a couple years later after that video he he passed away I think he was probably gunned down or something the irony of that right that sucks So we just passed one of their federal buildings. We got an IHOP on my right-hand side, an IHOP. International House of Pancakes. I think I ate an IHOP like once in my life. No, I'm BS, maybe twice. No, maybe three times, maybe twice. <laughs> I don't know, maybe two, two, three times max, but they were all in my younger years. And the most recent time that I ate there, I didn't really like it because I looked at the cups, the cups were stained up. They were super stained. Like there was like all these like spots and fuzzies in it. And even the forks had like stains on them. And I was like, man, that sucks that you go to eat at this place and the dishes aren't even washed properly, you know, cause they share those utensils amongst a lot of people. They share those utensils amongst all the customers that come. So it's like, that's crazy that you go and if there wasn't as anal or like scrutinizing the actual utensils the way that i was then they would probably just use the fork or use the cup and not realize that it was dirty so that just turned me off about it i was like man forget ihop last time i think i ate there i, I ate there twice when i was with my pop when i was a youngster 13 14 and i think the most recent time i ate there i was like 25 26 i'm 34 now so i was like 25 26 the last time i ate there and I went with staff from, from work. And that most recent time was the time that I had looked at the cup when I was in my 20s. I was like, no way. Like, nah, y'all not gonna do this to me. Dirty old cup, dirty forks and everything. And who knows what else was not clean properly, you know? All right, so we got another one of these government buildings. Remember I told y'all that it's like the government portion is down here. Look at this is the Passaic County Administration building. It's a black building. We talked about this in the driving tour. Uh, this is one of the very first black government buildings that I've seen across America. I normally don't see black government buildings. A lot of the time the government buildings are like tan, gray, stone color, you know what I mean? This one's black. And then they got a black parking garage around the corner that's that corresponds with this so i guess when you come here to park you can go around the corner and park at the parking garage which is another black building and you'll see we're like we're gonna walk around the corner so i'm gonna walk right back to main street just so we can get back and fix our orientation but <laughs> you park here and then on top of you Yeah, the dude told the other dude, I guess that was driving, he said, you park here and they don't F with you? And he said, no, no, no. Yeah, because this is, this is government property, you know? Usually when you're near courthouses or administration buildings and all that, this only reserved for like people who work in the building or like look at police. You know, you'll go around these courthouses and all that stuff and you'll see tons and tons of police cars illegally parked. Look at, no parking, authorized emergency vehicles only. So I guess since he's a, uh, a sheriff he's authorized <laughs> but it's true when you park around these places it's hard to find parking man like in, like in some government areas and all that it sucks to find parking i hate finding parking in center city areas man do i just like parking in center city areas because not only is traffic like hectic everybody's raging right but you gotta pay for it and then it would be very little parking look at look at this is the passaic county legend this is a map you can pause it if you want to see what it says
Wow, look at this. That's that's like a like a granite tile. Wow. What somebody hit this with a car? Look at that. that's that's all busted up. Yeah, it looked like somebody side swiped it before, you know what I mean? See, this is the Passaic administration building. I'll show you how that building looked like. And then that's that building we walked by earlier. See it back there? It looks nice. And then this is that black parking garage that I was telling you about. How they got a black parking garage to go with it. That's crazy. Yo, this is funny as heck. That car right there is a CRX. The car that they use, I used to have one of them, a 1989 CRX SI 5-speed. I don't know if that's the 5-speed or if that's the SI, but it, definitely a uh, CRX. Honda enthusiasts will confirm. It's funny how they use the CRX for their <laughs> no idling uh, image, their imagery. Basically, don't leave your vehicle on park because there's kids here, this is a preschool. So, you know, you're not supposed to idle. Memorial Day Nursery. You can pause that and read it, if it's possible. I, I'm a little far from it, so I can't actually get any closer. Woo! I've been reframing from saying a hundred times I'm burning up, but my body keep burning up. <laughs> Burn up. And it ain't even 100 degrees yet, 90 degrees. Oh no. In my Mario and Luigi voice. Oh no, Mario! Mm. Mario, you know. That's this piece right here. Cathedral of St. John's Baptist Parish Center. And this is the St. John's uh, church right there. They just paved that street over there. That street over there looks fresh. That street over there looks super fresh. It's road closed. Super fresh street. Damn, it's hot, son. I'm sorry. Sorry for my beaver dam. I could not help myself. If you know, you know. I'm a 70 degree type of guy. <laughs> 70 degree type of guy right here. When it comes to 80s, 90s, I hide. I hide from the sun. <laughs> the sun is my op. <laughs> I hide from the sun. For the sun spray me with that heat, you heard? Sheesh. I were passing Main Street. I'm gonna keep on going forward. We're on Grand, Grand Street, walking past Main Street. We came from our right, so we already went through my right. We went on both sides. Now we're going through uncharted territories that we did not walk through yet. Speedy Way Restaurant and Via Dinero Aquí a la Latino America. It's a grocery store across the street. Look at this John. This John right here is crazy. Look at that John. That John got the Ghostbusters logo on it. That John right there is crazy, right? And I'm not even a Charger fan, but I think it's cool the little theme that they put on that car. It's like a modern twist of the uh, Ghostbusters. That was cool. Oh, this is the prison, y'all. This is that prison that we walked by earlier. That's crazy, right? Ain't that crazy? This is how close you can get to the prison. Ain't that wild? Like, this is super close. We're at Marshall Street, also known as Sheriff's Plaza. The intersection of Marshall and Grand. You got Grand Hardware Store across the street. Prima Pizza right here on my left. 
criminal county bureau right there man this is the prison just look up look at the amount of barbed wire yo crazy right look at all that barbed wire <laughs> yo you don't want to try to break free from there unless you want to lose a couple pints of blood when you're reserved for a tour commander then we got houses right here across the street right here across the street from the jail how many of you guys would like to live across the street from a jail how many do you guys currently live across the street from a jail do you feel safer do you feel less safe I remember the time when I was walking in Philadelphia. I was doing a tour of the Philadelphia prisons down State Road. And if you've seen that tour, then we, we got a police officer in the sheriff vehicle on my left sitting down. I remember if you've seen that tour, then you saw that they came out like minutes later. I was walking by one, I don't know if it was Pick or it, it was one of those, um, I don't know if it was CFCF or whatever it was, but I was walking by one of the prisons and then the security came out and they followed me like up the block. They parked up next to me and the guards told me you can't record here. If you want to record, cross the street and record. Like in a way I understand it, in a way that wasn't cool. In a way I understand because it's like, you could be trying to scope out the joint, you know what I mean? You could be trying to scope out the joint to break someone out or show them the plans, you know what I mean? Like in and out, the entrances and all that. But in a way, it kind of, you know, it's not cool because they don't own the sidewalk. At least I don't think they do, you know? I don't think they own the sidewalk. Oh, we could go up this block right here. This is another cross block. No matter of fact, there ain't much going on here. Nah. This is going to take us right back to Main Street. Let's just cross here. I'm, I'm going to cross right back over here. <laughs> I was, I was going to go through there. Oh, look at this statue. I didn't even notice. It looks like a little dog, right? It says no more. Oh, the water boy. That's cool. That's a cool sculpture. So as you can see, we're on one of the blocks behind Main Street. It's not really as active, it's not as popular. There's a lot of cars, but not a lot of pedestrians. There's not a lot of businesses, not a lot of walkers. But I think you guys saw a fair amount of the downtown area between both videos i think you guys got an idea of what patterson new jersey downtown looks like so right here on the wall it says 3l muerto either that's 3l or that's supposed to be el muerto and they wrote the the, the e backwards on purpose for stylization purposes that's that welcome to patterson sign all the way over there where the buses are blocking it but i'm about to cross because it's my cue to cross We're on, it looks like Siani, if the C is silent. Unless it's Sian C, or Sian C, yeah. All right, we can cross. 